Hey, this week I'm going to introduce you to the Pile Driver. Don't go anywhere. Steam Culture coming to you in less than 10 seconds. Hey, I'm Brent. You're watching Steam Culture. Welcome back to our longtime viewers. We appreciate you very much. Welcome if you're a new viewer. Let's make you into a longtime viewer. And we'll start right now with this episode. Now, this is the pile driver that I grew up with, but this is the pile driver we're going to talk about. Now, I see these things all up and down the interstate as they're doing road construction, putting in bridges and overpasses. Now, what's a pile driver? Well, essentially, it's a large ram that pushes piles or posts or cement structures into the ground to support a larger structure like a bridge or a building or an oil rig, uh, railway uh, overpass, all sorts of things. Well, you know, back, back, back in history, Leonardo da Vinci was actually credited for creating a mechanical pile driver. But over the years, of course, things have progressed as they always do. And in the late 1800s, Otis Tufts created this thing, which is a steam powered pile driver. Turns out Otis Tufts was quite a steam inventor. He created a steam powered printing press a double-hulled steamship for safer travel, and a steam elevator, along with what we're talking about today, the steam pile driver. Now, before the steam-powered pile driver, force was created by hoisting by rope the ram, or the pile as it's called, up into the air, letting it go and letting gravity do its job. Well, with steam being added to the mix, this really kicked off a big construction period in the Industrial Revolution. Here's why. With steam in a single-acting uh, cylinder, the steam actually hoisted the ram up top and then it was vented and released and the ram dropped using gravity. Double acting steam cylinder, steam hoisted the ram up into the air but also acted on the other end of the ram pushing it down along with gravity to create all that extra force. Now as with most things steam gave way to diesel, hydraulics and other stuff for the uh, ram but it's a pretty neat piece of our steam history and a neat piece of the industrial revolution. So I hope you enjoyed that. You know what, go find us if you want to find out more about the steam powered pile driver or if you want to see our boiling points because we have great content for you each and every week. I'll get working on something for you next week. I hope you have a great weekend. Talk to you then. Thanks for tuning in.